Good morning, girls. I need your uh, nest box to go to work. What'd you put in here for me? You're eating stuff. No eggs? I don't get any eggs this morning, girls. I know there's probably an egg somewhere in there. Okay, I have to go to work. Every time I bring home debris, you guys think it's goodies for you. Okay, I gotta get these chickens out of my truck. Good morning, Rach. Good Rach. morning. Oh, boss. Yeah. That's but, Rachel. But I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. <laughs> and you're so. watching Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. And I call her the boss because she's the boss of the operation. And no, I'm not getting t getting ready to do anything gross, gross. I just want gloves on so that I can pop out some plants. And oh, I should have gotten the large ones. Yeah, they're, he got extra ones for like giant on me. So but, uh, we did this landscape a little while back and there's two plants that are struggling and rather let them die, mm -hmm. we're going to replace them with two of the same plants that we had that are really nice that from our little nursery at our house. And then we're going to take these two plants back, put them in some new soil and grow them and bring them back to health. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I guess that's a good thing when we do landscapes. If a plant isn't doing too good and it didn't die. We could pull it back out and bring yeah. it back to health. That's, I mean, we did it with the hostas yeah. and, mm -hmm. um, and she's extremely happy. Oh yeah. And, yeah. and we are going to do it. With I'm the not snow. a big fan of the light colored hostas for some reason. I like the darker colored ones. It seems do like, yeah. 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 I, I, I like the light color hostas. I think they're kind of cool. I the mean, wiggles and squiggles. Maybe I got to give them a chance to grow big yeah. and get, uh, tough and they don't. Yeah. They don't get too, too much bigger. They stay about 18 inches. So but they they'll are, probably be thicker and yeah. hardier, like, mm -hmm. you know, versus the really, cause we bought them as tiny little babies. Yeah, babies. But so we're going to get out and do this. And then we have a few lawns to mow. We're going to throw mm -hmm. down some fertilizer. It's going to be a hot one. And then we're going to prune that one we got to mow it and then we're going to prune a lot of it and then we're going to be working on that one back and forth to yep. get that done so let's get out Sounds and get good. this done all right and i'm i'm putting i didn't know if i told you we found oh, yeah. these work the best um they kill the worms they're a lot more no, they kill, kill the, the moles. moles they're a lot more expensive than they used to be when we first started a while ago they're 65 dollars a box yeah so you guys if you're gonna use them you gotta charge accordingly mm -hmm. they did go way up um we used to use mole scram but that doesn't work as good anymore and i noticed we did this with a couple yards in the beginning of the season and it kept them out for a while right? yeah and we still have a few clients that still want to do it naturally and we understand yeah, that um yeah but there's just there's an overrun of moles Definitely. like they're out of control Definitely. and because it used to be that you weren't allowed to kill them yeah. and and i understand you know when something's endangered or whatever um but these are not and they're pests so yeah <laughs> at least that's my opinion anyway. so let's yeah they are pests when they destroy so mm -hmm. anytime something destroys something it's considered a pest like your groundhogs mm -hmm. are a pest and stuff like that yeah um they're not fun yeah they're not fun so, so let's get out right. and get this done okay another quick thing with these guys Make sure you keep them in cooler weather or you're gonna ruin all your worms. They will melt if you don't put this in a cool area. So, store below 100. So if you leave them in your truck, they will melt. Here is the first two of the day. They are pretty long. But it's all grass. But finally, we're gonna cut it high and then next time we come, it'll be high and that lower grass will be able to fill in, you know? Yeah. So this one and this one, I'm just gonna go this way today on here okay then i'll start fertilizing as soon as i'm done okay okay i'm done this one i'm gonna go fertilize this while rachel is messing around with this one well i gotta fertilize both but i gotta go back and weed eat this one but she can blow off all the fertilizer long weeding not too bad these lawns look good this one has more weeds in the back we only treat right where rachel blows to
30, probably another 15, 20 feet high over the next few years, 10 years. So I'm gonna go fertilize now. What she does here is she'll go up to the next tier and mow this one too. It's wet over there. And mow this down. this one I think it's almost one o'clock hopefully we can do one more before we go back if she has to go potty though we'll have to go home first but that does make what is it two four six seven jobs with the worms not too bad because we fertilized all three that we were just at and we uh, mowed all three and then we did the worms on one so we have one, two, three more of the mow, and then we're gonna do some pruning for about an hour. And then we'll be done for the day. Hopefully be back by five o'clock tonight so we can finish doing more stuff in the garden. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. We have a lot of new subscribers. We do have another channel. I mention it a lot on this channel. But we do have another channel that we do all our farming and we're kind of starting another business there. A farm market business. And it's going pretty good so far. But, okay, until the next one. So it's all this. Guys, I know we said we weren't going to take on any mowing accounts. This is a friend who asked us. All this, all the way to the telephone pole, you see. So it's a... It's a flat, easy mow, and it goes all the way down in between the buildings. I'm gonna say 200 a week. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'll put this video up tomorrow. And it's from this box all the way down, so it's three buildings. But, and then it goes all the way down that gravel driveway, but. Number eight, done. Oh. 
Oh, not bad. Got eight done for today so far. Now we'll go take our afternoon break. It's like 1.30, I think. Then we'll go all the way up to Asheville. Yeah, I messed that one up. <laughs> what, what happened, Bunny? Guess we can't mow that yard. <laughs> you guys, we came all the way to this yard and forgot that right before we left the house, Carl took the 36 off. Yeah, because I didn't think we needed it for the job we're going to do. Yeah. And, and I the, forgot we're mowing this one, so. And the 36 is the only thing that fits in this fence, so. Oh so I guess we're only doing one more, guys. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna head um, up to the other one and do a little bit of pruning and then all that, and then we'll just head back here tomorrow morning. Yeah. No big deal. No. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys, last one for the day. Rachel's gonna mow everything, except for the back. Well, the backyard, the back hill she can mow. Just, I gotta do some pruning. Oh, look, they grew already on bushes. See yeah, it? But that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll set you up to get Rachel mowing this hill. Yeah. First time this year. So you guys got Rachel mowing that. I pruned, rough pruned about four or five bushes, six or seven. Rachel's blowing everything out. And we'll get her mowing this.
So you could... So we're done. Oh, I hear a chicken. <laughs> She's here already. She's under the bus. She got mad this morning, guys. You seen they were in the truck. <laughs> they ha she had built a nest all morning, I think. <laughs> and what happened is the back opened. Yeah, she had built a nest already in the morning, and she was ready to nest down there. And when I pulled her out of there, it was a nice looking nest. Oh, all comfy. she was ready to lay an ready egg. Ready to lay an egg, but she we left a little earlier than she could lay an egg. <laughs> They were mad. They were, when we pulled in the first time after our break, I wish I was recording it. No, I, no, it wasn't. We had forgotten the tirellas. Oh yeah, we forgot so, the tirellas. Yes. Yeah, so when when we first left, the girls had to grab them because they kept trying to jump in. Because the they kept trying to jump in the back. So Carl's like, "Hurry up!" So I ran into the truck and we left. We get to the gas station. And I'm like, "Oh, I forgot the tirellas. We need the tirellas." So he's like, "Okay, we get gas and we came back." As we're getting ready to pull in, well, what driveway. happens is I pull past a little bit and then back the trailer in. And I guess as soon as I came up and went back and started backing in, there goes the chickens running almost off the hill to get to the truck. Yeah, the one was completely up on the hill. You guys know the bank that Carl Weedies completely up there. She was like ready to dive in. Yeah, and so. another thing that she does, which is crazy is she like squawks like she's a rooster yeah um it's funny it is so like every morning you guys i hear her outside my window my yeah, one morning window. she was right outside the bedroom window i was like what is this chicken doing really loud i don't know maybe making a nest there i don't know but maybe so funny well we're um, done for the day we got a good good amount done more mowing tomorrow i think only mowing tomorrow i think yeah. Unless probably. there's some I can fertilize because I have a couple bags of fertilizer still. Oh, yeah. We'll so have we'll to see. look at that. But it was, it was a hot one today. Yeah, it was. But the rest of the week looks nice. No, tomorrow's going to be 85. Oh, it is? Oh, it's Friday, only Friday? It's like 74, oh. yeah. You teased me. I'm sorry. <laughs> But he liked only 74 and I was like, oh, that's nice. I thought that it was going to get cooler tomorrow. Yeah, we don't like anything past the Well, we don't like the 80s at all. I like <laughs> the 60s. But when it starts to get past 80 degrees here, 85 degrees, we start to really sweat. I'm sweat. sure everybody that watches yeah. us knows that we have our perfect weather. But, you know, yeah. what are you going to do? It's Can't not always perfect. Yeah. If I could control weather, I wouldn't be in lawn care. Did you but. see the bamboo? Yeah, it grew back. If we don't get to that account in less than 10 days, bamboo starts growing up in the lawn. Mm -hmm. Like big four foot shoots and you got to run it over. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. It, it, the amount of rain that we got to, yeah. I think is probably what did Definitely. it. So. But. so we are done for the day. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Or at least try. Have a good night. Have a good night.